Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You know who I am. I am the two-time, two-time, Naboxin Award winning Naboxin. I am still the one-time Naboxin Awarding Autistic Chef, David Leahy. And today, now we're doing another video. And this one's gonna be a little more fun. This is something actually I learned about at work. And uh, it was, how I say this, what, the way I say this, deadly. Yeah, that's a good way to describe this, this next one. Deadly, I mean, this will kill you. This one's so good. It, we're doing a buttermilk and cornflake battered deep fried banana with Nutella, banana ice cream, walnuts. It's gonna be a killer. You'd have to be bananas to try this. Yes, you would have to be bananas to try this. You have to be bananas, literally bananas to try this one. This one, just for one, this one will kill you. If you try this, you might die from, from like pleasure overload. Mm. It's so freaking good, but Hey, you want, you want to take the risk? All the power to you, kitties. So first thing first, let's do our batter. Batter, batter. So, wing, batter, batter. I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say it, because I'm going to be rude, I'm going to get in trouble for it. So, buttermilk. Something else I noticed about the recipe, though. This is kind of interesting. We did a recipe. Something else I noticed, though. That the buttermilk completely cooks, uh, completely the uh, the sourness of the buttermilk completely cuts out when you uh, you deep fry it. And I'm not turning on the oil yet because uh, last time, and we knew what happened last time. We, we we tried deep frying on the on this channel. Yes. Actually, I don't think anyone's seen that one. So. Yeah. Well, we should release it like as a a blooper. We should release that eventually. Yeah, we actually um, tried to do a burst like this. Uh, he had a, an idea for a super burger, which involved an onion ring, and it kept setting off the smoke alarm. So and yeah, and plus we had like a, a uh, we didn't have we had a, we had a, a we had a blowout with the oil. It wasn't pretty. It, it was botchamania, like for cooking. Yeah, pretty bad. It was a pretty bad botchamania. I was pretty pissed about that. He's very blunt. I was pretty pissed about that. Not all happy with that. But what can you do, right? It happens. It can happen once in a while. Things not going to go your way. Like the Rolling Stones song goes, you can't get what you want, right? You can't always get what you want. As the Rolling Stones say. There you go. So I'm trying to find my... A whisk or something. I'll use this. Do you want to mix it? You want you want it too thick? Want to thick enough that it'll coat it, but not like too thick. Oh, forgot to add. Duh. So we got our um, our flour, our baking powder. Now we're gonna, with our hands, we're gonna crush up some cornflakes. You can rough chop. You can rough them if you want. They don't have to be perfect, but you want like somewhat. If you miss a couple, it'll look nice though with a couple big pieces in there too. So get most of them. Try and really crush them up really nice and as fine as you can. Miss a couple. I'm gonna kill you if you miss a couple, right? I think it's a little too thick though. I, I don't think it's a little bit too thick, but maybe it's, a, I think it'll be just fine actually. So now, now we're gonna make the attempt to turn on the oil. So this is what scares me a little bit. We're using fresh oil. This is fresh oil. So it's brand spanking new, the oil. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on it. A very close eye on this one right now. Because last time we did this, I'm a little nervous about doing it because uh, last time we did deep on the channel it turned up to be a shit storm. I think it a little bit more, more uh, buttermilk. But not margarine milk. Oh, jeez. Good grief. Oi, gavolt, eh? Oi, gavolt. Looks nice, huh? Look at that. Nice batter. Now, banana. 
you can I wouldn't you don't need to cut it in half just um, cut it in the third so just peel it cut it in the thirds and pieces I'm gonna keep myself I like the end pieces I'm weird like that I like the end pieces I'm weird yes and I don't care I'm part of being a weird so you want to do you do it probably you can probably just line them up to, like this and then just with your little close enough so you want to dip them in the also there's a little technique for this as well that you got to remember for this so just let me just wash my hands here you can't just dip them you got to throw them right in the deep fire you got to actually got to dip them for a second couple seconds before you uh, switch them off for a second in the oil before you uh, you let them drop. Unless you're gonna ruin your oil. Also gotta let them drip as well, so. So ladies and gentlemen, while we're waiting for the oil to heat up, I have an announcement to make. I have finished my 400th video. Woo! So, yeah, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm sitting on 395 right now. Got a couple cooking videos with David to edit and upload, but then I'll make another video. I'm going to talk about like my, like my upload schedule because that's the thing that's been holding me back the most is not having that 400th um, episode special or video special to put up. So that's done. I've I've shot it. I edited it. I'm happy with it. That's the important thing. And now I'm. So I've just got to strategize on how I'm going to upload the content that I that I've been sitting on for all these months. So stay tuned, folks. There's lots of stuff to come down the pike. Now I'm going to be. I've been very quiet the past month. It's going to be the other way around, folks. I got month, I got weeks, maybe even months worth of content to upload, so. I think it's ready. Okay, so now um, the oil is ready. Butter is way too thick. That's why the more milk to it, the more buttermilk to it gets way too thick. You want it to catch on and coat, but you don't want it like super thick like that. Give it a little couple back and forth and then that drop. So watch again. Let it kind of give it a couple switches back and forth. Like five seconds. And drop it in. Pretty simple. Also make sure you uh, drip a little off the tube. Sorry about that too, that was my fault. Shoot. So I can just strain this before I, I usually I can I do it I can strain it and get rid of all the shit in it so it's fine. are there and they're all floating so it means they are cooking so now if you don't want it like too you don't want this you don't want this too like thick like a pancake batter you kind of want like a, a kind of a wet kind of pancake batter like maybe like a like a crepe batter but like how would you say it like a waffle kind of batter kind of thing like a wet waffle like a wet waffle batter kind of thing that's what you want that's kind of what you want with this. So, now we're doing that. We can we can kind of start planning here and there if you want. 
we can start playing a little bit. My wall, right? Since we're here. So here I have Natella. I'm such a sucker for this stuff, it's not even funny. Put on the bottom of a plate. Probably too much, but eh. Probably do it too much, but you do. Make sure you wipe your side of your plate, kids. Now also remember, whenever you do the, do a plate, you gotta remember the wipe. If you make any messes, wipe it. See? Like that. Clean plate. So let's check our footage while we're doing that. And it's gonna really do for, for right now, so we've gotta keep an eye on these. You want, you want the outside crispy, but you want the inside nice and soft. That's nice, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Disco? So far, what do you think? Oh, well, it looks good. Oh my god, this is the batter six though. Looks like it's very thin. Maybe I add a little bit too much buttermilk at the end. Maybe. It's kind of hard to judge with the. Uh, if I did add a little too much, little butter, more buttermilk than I should have then. Oh well. What can you do, right? You learn, and you learn from this stuff, and you move, and you kind of go forward. Not everything's gonna be perfect when you do this job. You're gonna make mistakes. It's, now you get to know absolutely perfect. It's fine, right? It happens, right? It's part of the job. You're gonna be creative and do things uh, Sometimes it's not really gonna work out. Sometimes just gotta learn from and move on. Oh, that one's falling apart. Shoot. One of the fitters is falling apart. Oh, whatever, it's gonna happen. Now, you should only use about. Uh, about a quarter to a third of oil and you do it via pot. I don't recommend high to work and don't use in this unless you're unless you know you are you have experience with this I don't recommend doing it. If, you, if you're gonna deep fry I recommend using a, like a, like a deep fryer like a you bought it at the store. The batter came off most of them. Oh. They're about ready. We'll work with them with what we got. See if I can get more texture on them. Let's wait a few more minutes on this one. See what happens. So it's good though. Shoot. I had too much buttermilk to the batter. That's where I went wrong. Want to try again? Can I do a retry on this thing? Do a little retry on this. So we'll be back. And we're back. So we did our second batch because the other one kind of didn't work out too well. Turned out a lot better. So turn off the oil. I'm gonna let these sit for a couple, for a, just for a, let these drain. Look good though. Oh boy, they're big. These are big, big boys. A little bigger than I thought they'd be, but eh, whatever. Still, look fucking delicious. Pardon my language. Oops. Ow, ow. I swore. Okay, so now, before I do anything, the first thing I'm going to do, so we don't have any more any issues, I'm going to take oil and glue it over here. Pump it over here. So, we're going to let that sit for a couple seconds, just, just quickly. Looks nice though, huh? Crispy on the outside, soft as hell on the inside. So, now we're going to finish this. So we got Nutella on the bottom here. We got stack a couple of our banana. 
see if I have an eyes here. Yeah, I do three. Screw it. Actually, you know what? Let's see if I can do three with, with the uh, ice cream here first. Nice scoop here. So there's ice cream. Yeah, put that one more in. So there are your. So now a little bit of walnuts on top of the ice cream. These have been roasted for about 10 minutes. Just a little bit, don't want too much, just a little bit. Just a little, little dabble do you. Dabble dabble do or a little dabble do you. There you go. Now, last thing. We also, uh, also I got one more thing from the, uh, let me just, you can follow me outside for a second. That's it. There you go, folks. That is deep fried bananas with Nutella, vanilla ice cream, and toasted walnuts. I'm going to take a couple photos here before I, uh, I am the two time, two time. The box of the world winning the box said. And I am the still one time, one time, uh, the box of the world winning uh, chef, autistic, autistic chef David Leahy. Until next time, folks. Peace. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. Oh, um. Please like and subscribe this video. Yeah. Like this video. Subscribe to, uh, to my channel and to his. Instagram, Facebook. I have a we have I have a Facebook fan page, Instagram page, uh, Twitter. Twitter feed. Yes, I have a Twitter feed too. I don't yeah. use Twitter much, but I do Instagram a lot and I do Facebook a lot. So, yeah, your goal is a thousand Instagram followers by the end of the, end of the year, right? Yeah, by I want to have a thousand Instagram followers by December thirty first, uh, twenty twenty. That's my goal. So, hopefully, with your help, you can help me get to it. I'm already at seven my seven thirty nine, which is a pretty good number. So. Yep. It's not bad. So hopefully we'll get there soon. So like and subscribe, guys. And please thank you for supporting us. We appreciate you watching us and viewing us. All the support you do is much, much appreciated. So until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.